Hey guys, this is Rough Rooster Knife Sharpening again. Um, one thing I've had uh, a lot of people ask me about here lately, um, especially about freehand, and, and one of the most common questions that I get is how I know what angle that I'm using. Um, first of all, I don't, I really don't pay attention to angles or anything like that. It's just really the way my hand lays. Um, and and it depends on the thickness of the knife or the tool chisel whatever that you're using um, the thickness or the thinness like if you have a thicker knife like an SE5 or like a BK2 um, you're obviously going to have a, a wider broader edge which is going to have a lot more metal behind it and it's going to be stronger um, and that goes for a V-edge or a Scandi grind or even if you convex it, you know, there's still going to be metal behind it. Uh, not so much convex, but anyway. Um, let's say if you have a full flat ground knife um, and you lay it down and start sharpening it. That is going to be a thinner edge than let's say if you had a um, saber grind. And then you're going to have more more metal behind it, and you're going to have a thicker edge. If you have a hollow ground, which is like an old straight razor is, it comes down like this. You're naturally going to have a thinner edge, unless you just want to uh, lay it way back, which makes no sense. Which there'll be no strength behind the edge, and it'll just be useless other than like cutting paper, or whatever, or something thin. But I was going to show you guys a little trick. I've never done it myself. Um, I've seen it done. Um, I just I, I've been freehanding for a long time since I was a kid, and I just got lucky. I guess my hand just lays a certain way, and I, I actually measured it against a Lansky a long time ago, and my hand kind of wants to lay to like 22.5 um, degrees. Anyway, if you have your 90 degrees like this, and then you cut it in half you're going to have 45 degrees. If you cut 45 degrees in half, you're going to have 22.5. I think the the perfect edge for just everyday general purpose use is 20, 20 to 25, somewhere around in there. Um, a lot of you may disagree with that, but to me, there's no point in having a uh, edge on a knife or a tool that is so thin that it it becomes fragile. Um, I, w I, w I myself would rather have a broader edge, have a little bit more strength behind it, and sacrifice some slicing. So, uh, without further ado, let me uh, let me show you this little trick that I've learned um, over the years and seen people do, and it and it does work. And and the purpose of me showing you this. Um, is to kind of, kind of give you a guide, if you will. You can cut little wooden blocks. I've seen a lot of people do that and actually measure out with a protractor what the angle is. But regardless of, of how perfect that you think or that you want this edge, you're never, ever going to have a perfect um, angle from heel to tip freehanding. It's just, it's impossible. I've been doing it for a long time and I can get pretty close within a half a degree or a degree, but I cannot get spot on. That is humanly impossible. Anyway, um, you get your, you have a sharpening stone here. Um, and let's say we got the Spyderco South Hard here. Um, and this thing does need to be reprofiled. I'm saving it to where I can do a video on reprofiling. But let's say uh, we're going to not do a regrind on it, but uh, do a reprofile on it. We've got two dimes here. We're going to set them down right here. And then we'll get it. You know, we have an idea of what, what edge angle we want on this and what we want it to do already in our head. So we're going to lay this down and lay, I don't know if you, let's see here, if you guys can see this, but we're going to lay that down right there. See, to me, that looks just a little bit low. 
because it's going to it's going to come way up here. And again, I said, you know, the thinner the edge, the the less strong it is, and you'll chip it and all that. So we're going to add a penny, or we'll we'll actually flip it over. We'll add a penny to it. Let's see here. Now that looks almost too broad, but if we kind of lay them back a little bit, that might actually work. But you don't have to you don't have to follow this exactly. I mean that's just you know as you're doing your strokes back and forth. This is just a guide. It's not meant to. I've got to watch this you know all the time and hold it just perfect. That will come in time. What this is is doing and what I'm trying to teach you by showing you this is just to have a, a, a temporary guide to go by. If you want to permanently use this, if you think you need it, that's fine. Or, I mean, anything will work. You don't have to use change. I mean, get an old token or something, or like I've got a plain steel here. Um, set it up against it which you know you wouldn't really want to lay it down that low but anything that you can use a guide for and to lay it down and to have something go up to uh, go off of um, the in my opinion the key to a, a, a very very sharp edge um, and most importantly a, a good looking bevel because if you have a, a really expensive knife like this you don't want to lay it flat you know like a lot of people do and scratch it all up and It'd just be a very unusable, unpleasant tool to use. Um, but you, you, you have to have patience and you have to have a steady hand. Um, one thing that I like to do when I sharpen, um, and again, this will come in time, when you, when you actually go and sit down to sharpen, I use my fingers a lot and actually use them as a guide and you'll see me on my videos when I when I actually sharpen I don't you know kinda relax I, I kinda stiffen up and it kinda hurts my shoulders and my back sometimes but if you'll just hold that consistent angle from heel to tip or from tip to heel whichever you choose I prefer heel to tip some people prefer the opposite but I get better results that way but you you will naturally learn uh, muscle memory and joint memory um, and it, it will just eventually lock into place if that you decide to to pursue it that far but don't don't sharpen two or three knives or chisels or whatever you're doing and just give up because you're not getting good results um, I would go up to the dollar store or Dollar Tree or something like that and get um, just a couple old cheap junk pairing knives and the reason I say cheap junk pairing knives is because if you mess them up for one you're out 50 cents or a dollar and you can toss it in the trash can which you can repair them if you mess them up that bad which I hope you don't um, and two it's junk Chinese steel it's really soft so you can see what you're doing very easily um, and an another trick that you can do you can get a a sharpie just to see your progress you can get your sharpie and let's say we're going to color this whole edge right here see we've colored that whole edge right there um, what the purpose of this is as you turn it over on your stone or your plate or whatever you're using you can see your progress so I'll show you here is our sharpied up plane tool do a couple little practice strokes here okay now you can see where some of that has been removed and some of it hasn't the purpose of doing that is to see what you're doing to your bevel um, and there's another way to do it by sound I will I will teach you guys that later but uh, if you lay it down too far or put it up too far you can actually hear it 
Um, and that's just something that you learn from time or learn from practice and time. But uh, guys, I hope this tip helped. Um, I'm gonna try to do a, a series of little informative videos on this um, and a few other things. There, I've got two or three different things going at once here and uh, they're gonna be here and there. So follow me, make suggestions. Um, if you don't understand something or if I've left something out that you think or that you need to know or want to know, uh, Please feel free to leave it in the comments below or email me my emails on several of my my videos um, I don't care a bit to get back with you guys it may take a couple hours or a couple days I've got a lot going on right now but uh, if you guys like this video subscribe please press the thumbs up if you like it if not give me a thumbs down I hope you don't do it but uh, you guys take out your knives and tools and try this little trick tell me if it helped if you come across anything else that you think might help for others, put it in the comments below too. Y'all have a good evening. Take her easy.